И не веднъж съм влизал след спектакъла, сам вътре в манежа и си казах, дали някога ще се случи така, че зрителите ще излезнат и повече никога няма да влезнат в този тир. Е, тогава вдигнах глава и казах, Господи, не искам да съм жив, ако ще има такъв ден. Когато за първи път построихме нашия цирк в ЖК Младост и циркът беше готов за представление, аз наредих да пуснат пълно осветление и накарах всички да излезнат от цирка. И влезнах от този вход в манежа и почувствах едно задоволство до себе си, едно щастие че съм успял да направя нашия цирк. Цирка на семейство Балкански. I said to my dad, my dad, we was always talking about redoing, reopening the circus from the family. And in one moment he said, look how many things are they. Look how many sticks, how many poles. And I said, don't worry, pa. Every day we are doing one thing. And by the end we will have the circus completed. <laughs> And whoop, a circus was born. <laughs> the job inside the ring and the talent that we've got, uh, it's a pleasure. So the most difficult thing, it's after the nice show that you need to pick up your props. You need to drive to the next town, 200 kilometers. And the next day it's again show, build up, tear down. That's the most difficult part in the circus uh, business. The, the easy part of my of my work is when I when I go in the dressing room and I and I take these clothes out and I put my makeup and I, and I put my my costumes and that that's the nice part of it. But when I have to change and I have to go in the office or I have to do the paperwork and permits, this is a killer, this is a killer. You know, doing art is, is, is great, doing everything else is so depressing. Всичко, което усещам преди да излезна на манежа, първо от една страна е а, така като напрежение. Той не е страх, а е напрежение преди, преди да излезнеш. Но аз винаги си казвам едно и също нещо. Можеш, ти ще го направиш. don't choose this work. This work shows the, the people and, and I think it was the same with me. This work shows, shows me. A lot of good artists don't have school, but they have a family tradition, you know, and they, they learn from parents, from grandparents, you know, from, from family. And I think this is the best idea, you know, the best possibility, because 
they don't learn only the trick, they, they learn the circus life, they show how to work in Manesh, how to sell your, your, your talent in Manesh. Обикновено тази магия и нас не завладява и оставаме, оставаме тук за цял живот. Не просто защото ни се налага, а то влиза в кръвта ни. Това е начин на живот, който трудно излизаш от него после. Перфекционизъм в circus world takes time. Here, a circus performer work all his life to do a certain act. It takes years and years of preparation. And, and finally, when you present it to the people, you, you don't get this what you expected. And sometimes you do something very easy and very stupid, but it is very effectful and people love it. Много е трудно да се създаде спектакъл, програма всяка година, която да е с едно стъпало по-добра, по-силна, с по-интересни и нови неща. Изчезването на истинския цирк, изчезването на е, образователната система в това изкуство, това вече е, предвещава една много голяма опасност, че разстоянието, дистанцията между децата, младото подрастващо поколение и циркулото изкуство ще изчезне. Циркус е арт и циркус трябва да дава много емоции. Трябва да дава смайл, трябва да дава адреналин, трябва да дава малко да дава 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 да grabs you from the first two acts and the two and a half hours of show uh, you don't feel them and by the end you're coming maybe you didn't come with a smile on your face but when you're coming out it's a smile on your face that's why my father always uh, likes the contact after the show to see the people to to be there to learn from them it seems like uh, The future of the circus is so like acts that are very dangerous and very close to the age where you can cut yourself. Няма думи с които да се разкаже какво човек преживява. Много е зрелищно и много ужасно. Тая скорост, тоя шум на моторите, тая близост между мотористите, те кара просто да не стъп. Ужас. Много от артистите, които дават, They are exposed inside the ring and all his friends and people that wants to see him for the last time. Sometimes also the, the funeral is made in the circus. When a circus performer is born, the first step is in the circus. That's why we say the circus is a church for us. Circus sometimes is very nostalgic. You will always remember the first uh, show which you see with your father or your grandfather, the first popcorn box, the taste of the first cotton candy, the candy apple, you know, and you will associate this with your grandfather who is not anymore between the people. And this will bring you a little bit of nostalgia. And then you'll try to correct this when you get your kids and you bring it to the show. And you want that they have the same feeling uh, which you had when your grandfather bought yourself first cotta candy or a first candy apple. And this goes on and on and on like that. That's the magic of circus. If you really love this world and this is in your blood, you will sacrifice 
everything. Believe me, everything. You will sell your house. You will sell your cars. You will be at the dark. You will come and you will rehearse with no light, on the cold, frozen. And once everything is done, that's your satisfaction. You say, I don't care if I sell my car, my house and everything. If my family hates me, but this is what, what is really in me. This is myself. You can't quit. You don't quit. Цирка е толкова чувствено изкуство. В него има всичко. В него има и спорт, в него има и балет, в него има и пеене, в него има и музика, има акробати, клоуни, ездачи, животни. Това е изкуство. То е създадено така, че да бъде вечно. То не трябва да загива. И точно това ме плаши. Ако един ден нашия цирк остане празен, това ще бъде най-страшно.